Well, Eddie Boas was just a child when the Nazis invaded the Netherlands, where he was born, rounding up his family and sending them to the Westerbork and Bergen-Belsen concentration camps. Miraculously, Eddie and his family survived and then moved to Australia, a country they thought was safe for Jews. Eddie Boas joins me now. Thank you so much for your time today. So you were three when you went into the concentration camps, five when you came out. What do you remember from that time? Well, I personally don't remember much at all. Um, first of all, thanks for having me. Um, my book's written about what my mother told me and she uh, was interviewed by the uh, Spiegel um, Shower Foundation. My brother suffered badly from the Holocaust. He had nightmares from... He was four years older than me. He remembers everything. So it took me 15 years to write my book. And you survived because your father managed to steal extra food. Tell us about that. My father was given a job uh, through, because my mother pushed him into it. My father was given a job of picking up the dead bodies from the ground at Bergen-Belsen. And he looked after two horses and he went around the camp in a cart, picked up the bodies out of the barracks and off the ground. Mm. But the Germans fed horses better than they did the Jews. So every once in a while he would go around the camp and my brother uh, would follow him and my father would drop an apple or a carrot. And then my brother would just run to my mother and she then, you know, fed us with it and also used it as a, you know, a, a tray to give somebody an apple to give shoes for me or jumper mm. for me because there were no shops there. Mm -hmm. Now, you moved to Australia. Obviously, it has been a safe place. What do you think about anti-Semitism we're seeing at the moment? I think it's shocking. I, I, I'm absolutely disgusted with it. You know, I've lived here for 70 years, came here as a 14-year-old. I had friends uh, from Coogee, where we grew up. We arrived here with no money. My mother, we slept on the floor for the first few weeks, and my mother got a job at Coogee Bay that was a cleaning lady. And there, there wasn't a lot of anti-Semitism I came across over the years in Australia until all this happened. Mm. And I think we have a weak government. government. I hope you don't mind me saying that. I say it every night. <laughs> and because you need a strong government to counter it. Mm. And I think having these marches all the time only adds more people to anti-Semitism. Mm. And as we were just talking about, there are laws against hate speech, but the police aren't enforcing them. So they're letting the people who are calling, inciting violence against Jews, they're just letting them off the hook. Yeah, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the police. I think uh, the police do a good job. I think it's the people who are leading the, the police. You know, mm. that what happened at the Opera House should have been stopped. But I think the police just didn't know, weren't given instructions. That, that's one of the, my opinion. I'm, I'm a fan of the police. I've had a lot of policemen as friends mm. and they do a great job. Mm -hmm. And where do you think this goes from here? Do you, are you worried about the fact that this anti-Semitism seems to be getting worse by the day. Oh, absolutely. Look what happened at Bondi, Bondi Westfield, uh, the, three, the school girls. Exactly. You know, and unless the government steps in, I'm talking about federal government. I, I do believe Mr Minns does a good job. He's very strong, outspoken. But the federal government's got to step in. Mm. And, and, and what? And say that this conduct is not acceptable. Yeah. And, and they should change the laws that these marches are under allowed. Mm because that only attracts kids and, and school kids, you know, the Teachers' Federation. I think it's a shocker. Mm, mm. It's, I mean, it's one thing allowing freedom of speech and everyone has a right to protest, but not when it's calling for genocide or, 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 or for Jews to no longer exist. Well, I like to know how people can block the road yes. and don't get fined. If I cross the road at an angle, it gets booked for jaywalking. Mm. How stupid is that? Yeah. Eddie Bowers, thank you very much for joining me. Just an honour to have you and, and wonderful that you and your family survived. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you.